Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Roberta here, Fashion Over 50. And today I'm filming another Come Pack With Me video. Um, this is actually going to be a much larger and longer trip than my previous one. So I just wanted to show you what I'm taking. My husband and I are going on a cruise out of Cape Town, South Africa. And we it ends in Mumbai, India. So it goes up the east coast of Africa. So I and also and then we're spending two weeks at the end in India on a tour of India. So I have somewhat of a little bit of some packing challenges with the locations that we're going. Um, when we leave here, we are going to be our middle destination is Amsterdam. And we're just staying in Amsterdam for about 24 hours. And then we fly from there to Cape Town. So I've got a couple of different little weather situations that I have to deal with. So I just wanted to show you how and what I'm packing. Uh, the cruise that we're going on, um, and I will be doing a vlog of what, you know, our trip is because it's kind of an interesting one. Um, we haven't been to Cape Town before. And we've been to India a long time ago, but not to northern India so that'll be interesting as well with lots of interesting things to see I'm looking forward to that but I just wanted today to do a video about packing so I just wanted to show you what I'm taking like I said the cruise that we're going on is not super dressy um, it's more like resort casual is basically uh, the dress code but I did want to take a few nicer things to you know where because I, I do like getting dressed up for the evening so I just wanted to show you what I was going to take and then I'll go through sort of what I'm taking for India because in India they do recommend for not to wear shorts so that's the problem it's not going to be super hot I think it's going to be in the mid 20s so it's actually a good time of year to go right now but I just uh, some of the challenges for there is to because you have to be covered and they also want you to wear a scarf especially well for women to wear a scarf that at least covers your shoulders and your neck not necessarily your head but just to be respectful so um that was some of the challenges i had for packing but plus i can't you can't take more than um 20 kilos i believe on an internal flight in india so i had to keep things down to a lighter weight so first up for the cruise i and and also for india this is i've shown you this before this is just a black um linen dress it's got sleeves so i think it'll be okay for india and casually on the on the cruise so i'm taking that for sure and then this is something else i'm taking for india I'm, i it's a, it is actually a, a t-shirt dress and i thought because it has a collar and um sleeves it's going to cover my shoulders I thought I could wear that plus also in India too I'm going to be wearing um mostly runners I believe I wouldn't necessarily wear open-toed shoes there um and you can in the hotel obviously and in the resorts that we're going to be staying in but they did recommend that when we're walking around that you wear closed-toed shoes which absolutely I'm going to do so the other dress I'm going to take for the cruise and I'll go through the cruise stuff first. Is that this is that long um, Zara dress that I I wore quite a bit in the summer, and I I took that also on my last trip. And I want to take a couple of dresses, so I'm taking this. Um, this is actually an older Calvin Klein dress that I've had for for a while, anyway. But I thought that would it's nice because it has a it's got gold detail, but it, the zipper goes from the bottom and the top, and it's got pockets. And it's sleeveless and it kind of it's, it's nice because it knits in at the waist and this is one of my other little favorite dresses that i've had for a while but i'm going to take this one as well because i really like this dress on holidays it's simple to wear and it's nice because it does have a silver exposed zipper so you can wear like silver with it i think that's going to look really cute on the cruise as well and then so on the cruise i had to come down to um a color scheme so basically my color scheme is going to be cream black and a little bit of gray but i did want to take i'm taking mostly pants to wear on the cruise just because 
it is resort casual, but I still want to look, you know, nice when we go for dinner. So I'm taking these um, Edith and Charles wide leg pants, and I've shown you this before. These are the ones that I have that have the uh, nice stitch down the leg, the white stitch. So I've got quite a few tops that I can wear with that. And then I'm taking these, um, oh, these are the black satin pants that I bought in Arizona on Black Friday. So I'm taking those because I did, I thought those would look really nice on the cruise. And they're different than these pants because they're longer. These ones are cropped and it'll be a nice little change up I can do. And I'm going to show you the tops that I'm going to take to wear with those. And then I think I've shown you these pants. These are my Zara um, cream colored pants, but they have this big tie at the waist. So you don't wear a belt or anything, but they're quite high waisted and they're one of my favorite pants. So that's kind of a, they're a different kind of pant. I, I, they're a different style, but they're really cute. And I think they're going to look great on the cruise. And like I said, they are cream colored, not white. So they're going to add a little dimension as well. So with all the black pieces, um, I, I showed this blouse the other day in my white blouse edit. So I'm going to wear it with this um, satin camisole underneath and I'm going to wear it with, uh, with the black satin pants. So I don't have to wear a belt and so that's a little bit of a dressier outfit for the cruise. I think that's going to look really cute together. And then also keeping with these black um, satin pants. I have a couple of other tops that I plan to wear with them. So I have, this is just like a short waisted, it's got uh, texture in it. It's sort of like a corset top. So I'm gonna wear that on the cruise. I think I'm gonna pair it with the satin pants, but I can also wear it with these wide leg pants, which I'll need to do because I have to come up with we have 18 nights on the cruise and I wanted to make sure I had at least 18 mixable outfits with these three pairs of pants. And then I also, this is the other white blouse that I showed you on my, uh, this is my Hugo Boss blouse. I showed that in my white blouse edit. I'm going to take that as well because I think that would look nice with these pants and also of course with these, the pants that have the white stitch down the leg so those are like a wide leg crop and the other black this is a kind of an interesting this is a an interesting top i can wear this top um with both of the black pants so what it is is it's actually a long sheer piece with a short piece underneath so you tuck in this shorter piece and then these other pieces just kind of flow. It's really quite dressy, but it's uh, it, it's an interesting it's an interesting top. So I haven't actually worn this for a while, and this is actually a Frank Lyman. So that's a nice brand as well. And then the other couple of blouses that I'm taking. So I'm going to take this black, um, sort of like a cowl neck, but it's sort of like a it, it's quite. Uh, you know cropped in so that's actually kind of nice if it's warm and then I'm going to take this off the shoulder lace blouse that I've had for a while and I thought that would be kind of interesting with well with the satin pants but also with the cream color pants where did I put them I thought that would be a nice outfit with these and then and then also this other Zara blouse that I showed in my edit the other day I'm taking that as well so I've got lots of mix and match pieces and hopefully I have enough uh, mix and match which I think I do to go together the other thing I also I find interesting is with these cream colored pants I often in the summer have worn it simply with a white t-shirt and just wore that with like some flats as a casual outfit. So I'm going to try to do that as well. And also uh, these, the black and these pants with the white. I'm going to wear that, I think, with just a white t-shirt and some flat shoes too. Because I need to be able to wear pants for India. And I think these 
they're lightweight they're a wool but they're lightweight so I want and then with the white t-shirt I think that will work out great so and then I'm also taking uh, this you've seen this blouse before I, I wore this when we were in I was in Mexico so it's just a linen gray linen blouse I think I can basically wear that with both of the black and the cream colored pants so everything had to be mixed and match and then I love this little top this is also a little Zara top and it's all it's cropped and then you tie it at the waist really tight around your waist so that would also look nice with both the black and the white pants and then last but not least is this off the shoulder um, blouse so I'm taking that that's a Duraco and uh, this is a I got this in the summer and I I like this with shorts as well as I think it would look nice again with all of the pants that I have that I'm taking on the trip so now my next dilemma so that's basically the cruise section so a bit nicer things and then for India I well, I am taking the three pairs of shorts from Banana Republic so um, I have my black shorts and you guys have seen these yellow ones I'm taking that for a little bit of color and then I have white ones white linen so they're all they will be cool enough but um, hopefully I can wear those in the resort but I also wear these on the ship in the daytime so that's that'll be a nice you know outfit to wear as well and then basically um, the other thing I'm taking is I'm taking these joggers these are Banana Republic joggers and I'm taking these basically to wear in India because they do say you should wear pants so I'm not really that's a, a bit of a iffy for me it's all these pants I have to wear and then I'm going to take these these are just H&M um, black linen pants and then white linen pants so I'm hoping I, I'm not going to wear the white linen ones during the day when we're out touring I'm going to save those and wear those in the evening and then all uh, the rest of my wardrobe is oh I'm going to take these uh, I showed you guys these once before these are the Zara tanks so I have it in beige and black and I have it in white so I'm going to take these three because I think I can mix and match those with my shorts and mostly for the resort because they don't you like I said they like you to have your shoulders covered um, and then I am taking some other casual uh, blouses you guys have seen these two blouses before um, this is just a Saks off fifth linen um, black blouse and I don't miss it is off the shoulder but I don't have to wear it that way so I thought that would be good and then this um, linen blouse from Banana Republic as well in black so I can wear that with all my all my pants I can wear this with all the pants I can wear it with the shorts as well so everything is going to mix and match really well and as far as accessories go I'm taking I have to take I have to I have to take my little Gucci bag I've had this bag for 30 five years so I'm taking this little bag it's always my little daytime crossbody bag that I've worn um, if you look if I go back and look at pictures of travels that we've done my husband and I I've always had this bag and then of course I wanted to take my birthday Michael Coors bag because it's gonna look nice with all the cream colored outfits that I'm taking so I wanted to take that and then I'm just gonna take this black clutch too for mostly for the cruise um, and then that will look nice with all the black outfits that I'm going to take and as far as when you're traveling I always take a big bag and it's over here so sorry I'm off camera right now but I wanted to take a bag that um, could hold a lot of stuff and but still be secure so I'm going to take this is a um, backpack purse that I have I've, I've had it for a couple of years it's you can wear it you know like this or as a full backpack and you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here it's actually this is a funny make it's the Celine Dion like the singer so anyway I 
I, I bought that at a local shop in um, my town. Anyway, I'm going to take that. It's got gold hardware, but it also kind of has this woven uh, material, canvas and leather. So I think it'll be durable. And I'm going to take that as my carry on on the flight. And then for India, because they have to, you have to wear, um, like I said, they do recommend that you bring a scarf. I'm going to take this colorful scarf. So even if I'm wearing like black and like a, just a white t-shirt, I can at least have some color around my face. I'm going to take, and it's long. So if I have to wrap it around, I can do that. And like I said, it's got some nice colors in it and a little gold thread running through it. So I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take that. And last but not least on the airplane because we're going through a colder destination I'm gonna just on the plane I usually wear leggings so I'm just gonna wear these black leggings and they have actually they have nice detail on the um, on the leg they have a zipper so they're really comfortable and then I'm going to just wear with that a long um, sweater and I'm going to wear a cardigan over top. I haven't decided which cardigan I'm going to wear yet. And then on the, when we go, transfer to our other flight to um, from Amsterdam to Cape Town, because Cape Town's going to be warm when we get there, even though we do arrive at night. I'm just going to wear the same leggings, but I'm just going to wear this long um, black t-shirt and probably still carry my cardigan, but I also am taking a scarf. So the scarf that I'm taking is actually my... Um, this is a pashmina that I actually bought in Turkey a few years ago. So it's kind of like, it's got multiple colors and it's nice and bright. So I'm going to take that and even on the, for the cruise, because I find sometimes in the dining room and stuff, it can be, you know, a little bit chilly with the air conditioning. So basically that's what I'm taking and I'm limiting myself on shoes as well. So I'm taking my Zara little kitten heel shoes. I've shown you guys these and I have styled these up numerous times. I'm taking those. I'm going to take these. Uh, these are the most comfortable slides I have. I'm taking these Christian Dior slides and they are great because they're, they're kind of dressy. So I could wear those heels with the dress. I could wear it with these, with my other plain dresses as well, the Christian Dior. And then of course I can't go anywhere without, if you have seen my videos, my Vince Camuto, um, these are, yeah, my black leather slides. I'm taking my black leather slides. And then for the pool area and stuff, I'm just going to take these white. And these will also look great with shorts as well. These are just some um, Michael Kors um, little white slides. And for, some, for the evening and actually for the cruise as well, I'm going to take my Stuart Wiseman. I've had these, they're like a dressy slide. They're gold with a bit of silver. So I can wear it with gold and silver. So that works out great. The same, and same with the, um, I like, that's one reason why I like these Christian Dior's because I can wear them with silver and or gold um, accessories. They don't really have that. Anyway, I think that's it. I, I still have a little more packing to do. I have, I'm just gonna take one bathing suit and some shorts for hiking and like I said I'm going to wear I'm taking runners I'm taking my pink bathing suit that I, I've shown you guys before and I think well, that's about it but I still like to hang all my stuff when I'm packing for a trip on a rail like this so I can see how everything goes together or doesn't go together and then I do my edit I'm also going to pack using packing cubes. So I'm basically going to pack most of the clothes, the dressier things that I'm going to plan just to wear on the cruise in one cube and the clothes that I'm going to wear in India in another, just so they're separated and easy for me to get at. And also um, I take a packing cube for lingerie and also for just uh, electronics um, I'm going to take it. I have a little packing cube. I put all my electro, all my chargers, my uh, converter, and all that in as well. So I have all that together in one place as well. And then one wild card thing, which I hope works. I had this curling iron, but it it's a 220 bolt curling iron. 
So I'm going to take this curling iron and hopefully it works when we're away. I have an adapter, so hopefully I can get it. It does work. I haven't been able to test it because I, um, I don't have the right adapter here. So I am going to take it. So let's hope that it works as otherwise I won't be curling my hair while we're awake. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, by the time this goes up, I think we will actually almost be in South Africa. So I will do a little update when we get there and uh, show you where we are. And of course I'll do, I'm planning on doing like a, a vlog of what I've worn on the ship and and what the ship looks like and everything along the way. So we'll be gone for a total of six weeks. So hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy my vacation vlog. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to our trip. I got a few more things to get together for packing and uh, I should be good to go. Anyway, thanks for watching my channel and we will see you from South Africa. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So looking forward to taking you on my journey on our holiday and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.